So a guy down the street gave me this. I think he gave up on it. Um, let me see, it's a Snapper Ninja. Uh, has a Honda engine on it. So this is their professional model. And it has that, uh, what's that called? A pressure wheel uh, engagement there. Um, and to get it to roll, you see how this lever is putting tensioning on, on that belt here. And this one is supposed to be moving this wheel back and forth along this disc. Um, and that's what controls your speed. The, the closer in towards the center of the axle, the, the slower it's going to move. And the further you pull out on it, then uh, the faster it'll roll. But it looks like some of the linkage and stuff is gone. Everything's duct tape on. Uh, but the thing I see... This thing was, you know, covered in brush and a bunch of stuff you can see from all the the rust. Well, I cleaned all that out um, and started to try to crank it, and it's like the engine is just frozen. But the more I played with it, it's like, well, I don't think it's the engine that's frozen. I think it's this wheel here, this disc is. It's just rusted in place. Because when I get underneath and try to turn the blade, let's see. Yeah, spark plug is off. So you can see when I'm trying to turn the blade, you can see the the belt moving or trying to move and it's this piece that is not rotating. So, I think I'm going to, I have some liquid wrench. I usually use WD-40, I have some liquid wrench with me and, and I'm gonna douse all this stuff uh, and let it soak, see if it'll free it up. <laughs> and, at first, I wasn't going to try to tackle it, but I remember, I believe it's, I have a snapper. I believe it's a snapper, but it has a Kawasaki engine on it. And I want to see how similar this is, especially this linkage. Uh, the other one, I think it's underneath this tarp somewhere. Yeah, there it is. in my junk pile. And, and it's slightly different. Um, you can see it still has that pressure wheel the linkage up here looks a little different and up there but I'll probably yank this out and compare the two so I was going to try to get this going um, but it needs a lot of work I mean when I first got this one it wouldn't roll at all until I got the WD-40 after it and at least I could roll it around everything was working and I haven't tried the engine yet but maybe out of these two, I can get one good working mower. I gotta keep this covered because it's supposed to start to rain pretty soon. So I guess I'll get the old
penetrating oil along all this linkage. Let me see if I can get underneath. And over here. Yeah, see this is not even doing anything without uh, keeping this in place. But we'll figure that out. I want to get it rolling first. If I can get this sucker rolling and then see, uh, see which engine works. If this Honda will start up great. If uh, if the Kawasaki engine on the other one will will start working, I just know that engine's going to need a little bit more. It looked like the carburetor was shot. Um, a lot more was rusted out. The the cables, um, fuel hoses were just about dry rotted out. But anyway, I'm going to let this sit, and then we'll see if that'll free it up and we can check the Honda engine. All right, it's only been about 30 minutes, but I'm gonna go ahead and start freeing this up, trying to anyway. I'm gonna tilt this mower up and work. Yeah, see it's already, it's already starting to work its way out. If I can just keep messing with the blade back and forth, there we go. bunch of crud in there. There we go. Alright, I got a full turn out of it. Still a bunch of crap in there. I need to pressure wash it out of there. But there we go. At least it's uh, at least it's rotating. And I hear compression in the engine. good deal so that's freed up let me uh, let me pull in the engine and see if it'll <clears throat> look at this uh, look at the handle <laughs> somebody tied a box blade It's turning. I guess the next step I'm going to uh, do the usual first. I want to make sure there's oil in it. I think there was, yeah. There's oil in it. I'm going to put the spark plug back, the cable back on, and uh, Prime the carburetor, spray some carb cleaner down in there. Ooh, nasty. And see if it'll turn over. Okay, they rigged this up. This is supposed to be, yeah, this is the cable for uh, their start and stop. So a cable is missing, probably goes right there, yep, I'll dig in my pile and see if I have a replacement, I don't think I do.
spray some of that stuff in there. I guess we'll keep the choke off, it doesn't matter. Uh, the fuel line is off too. So there's probably no gas in it anyway. Oh, there's a little liquid. That's not good. We'll keep it off and drain all that crap out of there. No telling how old it is. Let's see if it'll crank over. Looks like she's gonna run. And all this was turning. We just need to figure out what to do with uh, with this piece to adjust the speed. On the other mower, I think this piece is actually way down here somewhere. Well, there's here's both of them side by side. The mowing decks themselves look the same. The wheels on this one's in much better shape. Uh, I was just always wondering about this Kawasaki engine because it looks looks pretty rough, right? Looks like it's going to take a, quite a bit to uh, to clean it up free everything up. I know these cables are are shot. Ooh, look at all the ants. Ooh, way up here. We've got us an ant colony. Dang. But anyway, pull string and I haven't even tried to see if this will it's kind of frozen too, but I wonder if it's the same deal where this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so here's this lever to go back and forth. It's the same as up here. It looks like we can transplant it. Take it off of this one and put it over there and do away with that long shaft. Uh, what else? These bracings here looks like they're gone off of this one. The mounting holes are there though. Down here there's the hole and then on the side so we can transplant that over. Uh, What else? This one has a throttle. That one doesn't. That one's governor driven. There's a lot more rust on this one. So, so far I'm thinking I'm going to rob this one of parts to put over on this one. I'll keep the Kawasaki engine, but I'm just going to rob the parts, including probably including the wheels. see if you can see what I'm doing from that angle. So I'm fooling with this linkage here and before I let go because there's a, a nut missing on that I'm just taking all this this duct tape off. I already took it off it was all wrapped around here. see it does what it does without this tape and see if it actually budges. There we go. Well, it's trying. 
kind of move. I'm going to try to find a nut that will fit this. Put it on because it looks like it's actually trying to work. And I'd much rather have the actual control further up within reach, you know. Alright, I found an old rusty nut. It looks like it's going to... So all this is in place. So this is all moving back and forth, but if I'm not mistaken, this should be moving back and forth along this axle here because right now it is trying to shove all this over when this actually should be moving back and forth so let's spray this down Let's let that soak in. Let's see what happens. So what I've seen, once again, I was just comparing. So what I'm looking at, again, I was comparing one to the other. Um, this, looks like there is a nut missing or it's stripped or something for the bearing is this one over here and you see it's pretty solid so it must be a bad bearing on the other one still don't know which one let me try to move this one back and forth it's kind of frozen too I'm gonna spray that one down So we can have a better idea of what's going on but it does look like it does look like this one has a, a bad bearing on this on this bracket here so I guess I can rob it off that one all right so you hear all the noise my neighbor's doing some major work over there. Sounds more more than a mower, but uh, maybe he's tilling a garden or something, who knows. But you can see I took this bracket off of uh, the donor and it had a bearing and this o-ring on it and then it just bolts right in. But with this one, see uh, 
that's supposed to be a nut. It looks round. It looks like it's just been banging around so long that it uh, has worn smooth. So I'm going to have to get some vice grips or something and see if I can work that nut off. Hopefully it's not stripped. Alright, so they got vice grips on it and, uh, and it's a, a hex shaped axle there. Starting to budge. Ah, I think that's good. That is one worn out nut, almost round. That's the inner race of the bearing. I'm gonna take this plate off. Yep, there's the O-ring trying to come out. at it you can see in there that inner inner piece here it's been wearing out on the inside this is usually threaded all the way back and then you can slide the bearing in but there's there's nothing there it's just jiggling around uh, the other one seems to be in good shape so I might have to yeah, it looks like there's a, a C-clip on this other side. I might just yank the whole thing and use the whole shaft off the other one. Uh, get it off the donor too. Well, my battery ran out on me again. Um, and I just, re you can see I just replaced this whole assembly. So, and it was pretty easy. It was just this nut here. Uh, and I was able to back this off, take this spring off, and then rotate it around. This is just a, like a slip. Um, anyway, you just you just line up the slot on it. It has that flat end on it, you, and it just comes right off. So it was pretty easy. Uh, I was trying to take a look at this wheel. And they're about the same. This might be a little better. So I guess I'll just have to keep it <laughs> just in case. But I think it's in about the same shape. We'll see. Alright, so let's try this again. I got the washer in. Just trying to get everything lined up is kind of a bear. But that slides in and that over that. So it's this piece that keeps it centered, it looks like, yeah. Um, O-ring. Let's just slide down, huh?
missing a nut on this one too. There should be a should be a washer. Nothing on that one. Well, I'll put this temporary. I just gotta remember to put to put a washer on that joker. That's butt up against the the bearing, so <laughs> gotta have a washer on that. All right, so you can see I got the. Uh, Got the wheel swapped. Um, got the wheel swapped. Got the tires swapped. So now it's got the the good metal metal wheels and tread still on them. And what I was doing, I was trying to disconnect it here while the the hose came off and all all the old gas drained out. That was a good thing. It's just that it was in my yard, but oh well. Um, and also I was noticing the way this is positioned this hose should actually be under here and this connected down here somewhere I don't know if I'll be able to connect it it looks like it's all stripped out it's supposed to be a, a little screw and a, a nut that's built in on the, on this bracket but I still I'm going to go ahead and take this off and take a quick look at the carburetor and then make sure that this is routed down here where it should be because uh, then I have a better chance of maybe using a wire tie or something to uh, to attach the on off valve but, uh, then I'll put new gas in it but I might as well take this apart I'm sure the carburetor is going to be, need to be cleaned. And then I'll reroute that gas. Sit on my ass here. The outside is grungy. Don't know about the inside yet. Yeah, so that fuel hose should be down here. There, then I can connect it. Uh, well, let's take the fuel hose off. It is. Yeah, so I'll go through the process. We've all seen this before. I'll just take this over and see what it looks like inside. I guess I can do that right now. See if I just need a, a mild cleaning or should I put it in a ultrasonic cleaner? Yeah, I think I'll I think I'll do the ultrasonic cleaning. Might as well. All right, so the carburetor looks much better. Time to put it all back together. I took the hood off to look in there. It's dirty, but 
but functional. You know, it's not like there's a lot of corrosion, just a lot of dirt. This thing must have been sitting around for a long time. Um, I'll get all this situated here. This is always kind of kind of a pain in the butt. goes on this way. that oh, this spring came off I believe that just goes on this little hole there we go let's twist this around Probably didn't get a good look at that, but you get the idea. You got to put everything in place first. All right, 
Everything's there. Make sure your choke is working. Just put a little WD-40 right where that coil spring. held right there. Gives you a little opening to get some to spray in inside. Alright, that was just to make sure. in there. Fuel lines open. I'm just going to prime it a bit. Turn the choke on. Let's see if she'll start. definitely running but when I'm looking at this so you have your you have your lever pulled up there like it should be but when I'm looking at the governor here it seems to be jammed all the way I think somebody messed with the governor and It is just on full full throttle. <laughs> so I'm gonna loosen that up and reset the governor and see if that does the trick. Alright, so with the governor, I'm gonna go off and get my tools. So you loosen it up, loosen this nut. Turn it all the way. There's a little notch, a little pin that sticks out. So you loosen up this nut, and then you can twist. You can adjust the uh, the governor back and forth. And I believe, if, not, if I'm not mistaken, you grab it, twist it all the way clockwise, and then tighten it back down. Yeah, so now it has some room to move. Let's try it again. Now it should start. Definitely running, running pretty darn strong actually. I'm just kind of surprised at how much this vibrates. But it was pulling it for 
sure. What I should do now, I guess I should change the oil. And while I have it tipped over, I'm going to take a look at the blades. Well, a lot of rust and stuff, but the blades are sharp. They're not bad at all. I don't think they need to be sharpened. They look to be straight. thing I noticed, let me get you over here, I had the oil draining over there. I mean it really just poured out of there. And uh, see how And it smells like gas. So some gas got down into that crankcase. Yeah, it definitely smells like gas. Um, and it was very, very thin when it just gushed out of there. So I think I'll uh, I'll clean up the mess here. I'm going to put some more oil in it and see what happens if it. Uh, if it gets contaminated again, then I've got bigger problems than I was expecting. But uh, let me fill her up and run her around, clean it up, and uh, then we'll check the oil and see if see if it thins out. does run strong. I just did a part of my yard there. The thing just hauls ass. I gotta figure out how to uh, loosen up that movement there. Because right where it's at, you can see where the, the wheel is rubbing on there, on the friction wheel. And it's just hauling butt. So it looks like this whole thing needs to go over and it's stuck here on the on that wheel okay so I had it all together but uh, I need to free up this wheel so I'm gonna take it back off should have done it the first time but uh, she blows so you can see I've uh, I've been spraying it down with liquid wrench and uh, I just need to start working it back and forth and all right so it was a bit messy but uh, you can see it's moving very freely right now So I think that'll do it. I will, uh, I'll just put it right back on. And, and I've got all the WD-40 and uh, <laughs> liquid wrench all over the place. So I'll, I'm sure I'll clean this thing up. And I got the braces on it. So it'll be pretty sturdy. And after this, that is going to be it. And let's give it a quick test. There we go. Okay, well I think I'm gonna call it quits on this video. Uh, besides just cleaning up, I think we got a good running mower here. The engine's running very strong. I swapped the wheels. We got the, uh, with the steel rims on it now. Swapped out the, uh, uh, the pressure wheel assembly there. And it's working great. Didn't have to worry about. Just needed a nut on the on the linkage there. 
and that was it. So that's running smooth. Uh, I think it's running pretty good. The only thing, uh, we'll have to replace our high-tech pull handle here. And the only money I'll have to spend is getting the cable. The cable and the handle up there. But, uh, but I think it's looking and running pretty good thanks to the little donor there. And I'll keep the other parts. But I think that's it. So uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more videos.